Hello and today we're going to do a review on the Audi virtual cockpit on my A3. We're going to show you the functions, the features and the screens. So you start off with a blank screen until you switch the ignition on and then it comes to this screen which is your start up screen every time get a picture of the car the oil temperature the time the date um, the day your mpg and also you have two dials which can be made bigger and smaller on every screen so obviously the other graphics move around once you do that you have four options at the top that you can scroll through so that's map phone, radio station and then your driving statistics. So if we change that back, so we'll go through the middle bit that you can scroll through from the steering wheel. So you have short term memory and gives you the MPG, average speed, uh, obviously the time you've been travelling and your mile miles. Long term memory, that's an overall memory, both of them can be reset and then energy consumers so obviously that tells you what is on um, via you know the electricals so if you put um, heated mirrors on um, which won't come on because the engine's not running it tells you what appliance is on and how much per hour gallon, uh, petrol is using gallons per hour so you know what's on and what's not driver assist tells you what's on so if it's you know you're using the cruise control automatic cruise control it would tell you that you have traffic sign recognition so obviously we're actually off-road at the moment uh, on the driveway so it has a camera above the rear view mirror which reads traffic signs that collaborates with the gps and the area where you are and then works out the speed limit and then the signs even temporary signs so if you have temporary uh, average speed checks it will tell you that as well um, so that's quite handy and that's pretty much it on there on the bottom it has the overall mileage your trip mileage the time temperature and on the left hand side you have the car's temperature and on the right hand side you have obviously fuel and that's the fuel gauge they're not actually digital they go off they just light up and when you switch them back on the the lines are digital the little bars they fill up obviously depending on what fuel you've got let's switch over to map view so map view this is obviously the full screen the dials are quite small if you make the dials bigger it goes to mid screen um, over here you have driving information so we're actually in comfort at the moment but that does change obviously the gear uh, we're in which is park over this side when you have the gears bigger uh, sorry the dials bigger and you have like um, turn by turn navigation it comes up in the middle dial there which is really good and quite, quite uh, pleasing to look at as well make the dials smaller and then the actually come up here uh, any driving information where to turn and uh, and stuff like that you can change the colors on the map so if you click on this side so map colors can have automatic which is in at the moment can have day which makes it a lot brighter you can have map orientation which is 3d and stuff like that which i don't really ever use let's back up there you can have display so you can actually have google maps it does take quite a bit to load up the car has an internal sim that it works on uh, and you get the data plan you can either buy the data plan or i got my data plan for three years uh, which came in with the cost of the car because obviously google maps wouldn't work so there's google maps now loading up you can zoom it out um, I mean literally zoom out all the way so all you can see is the earth which is pretty cool 
um, and obviously can zoom all the way back in. Now on the middle screen, on the middle of the dash, the multimedia screen, you can actually access Street View on there through Google Maps, which is pretty handy. Let's just go all the way back. Yeah, and it also shows you traffic, uh, roadworks, um, and all that kind of stuff. We we'll go over this side. That's to do with your last destinations and your favourites. So you can put favourite destinations in there. Um, you can go over the next screen. You can go over to the phone. Obviously, I'm not going to do that because it brings up all the numbers. Uh, you can scroll through and work the phone from here, or you can use um apple carplay which incidentally is only available on the middle screen you can't control apple carplay from the uh dashboard screen so let's go through there this is radio um so you get all your media here um we switch through so bluetooth um you can have uh well it's mainly all bluetooth but if you've got an external drive uh, say an mp3 player or stuff like that that can all plug in an external audio player um, and then you can just switch back to radio so that will save all your favorites and you can just scroll through them um, and then if you switch back to small dials then it comes up with a bit of um, station art um, and that will do that with albums if you get albums that bring up the album art uh, on a CD or MP3 you can control that all the way through there um, on the RS models there is um, a different screen where you can have the big rev dial in the middle and over to the side you have G meters um, and um, stuff like that so side lateral G and, and that kind of stuff but this is uh, just a quattro an a3 quattro uh, so it doesn't have that's a tdi um, even though it's the 184 um, ps or the 181 brake horsepower it's, it doesn't have that so uh, also any warnings that come up on will show on the car um, and it will show if there's a low tire it will highlight the tire or if it's low water it will highlight the bonnet um, yeah, and uh, it's a pretty neat um, display, and it really adds to the car. It's really pleasing. Keeps your eyes up on over, you know, over the road, so you can watch it as opposed to be messing about with the uh, center media multimedia screen, which I will do a review on uh, at a later date. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for watching. It's a new channel, so please like, subscribe. Uh, there'll be plenty of stuff on here, not just cars, all sorts. So, cheers, thank you.